Hey guys, I, I, I we got about maybe about 15 minutes left here uh, for the webinar. I'm not going to be going over today. Hey, thanks, Ar Armenia. I appreciate it. And, and, uh, sh and sharing everything that you did. I'm going to remove you from the spotlight. Okay. Got myself here. Yeah. Um, uh, what I'm going to do here next here, and I'm sorry, Kathleen, uh, we're not going to do any more. What we are going to do here next is I feel that the Lord again wants to bring um, an encouragement to the body of Christ. So um, uh, there are going to be short words of knowledge uh, that Jesus is bringing, um, and it will be for everyone here. Uh, so I'm going to make them brief and short. Um, I won't remember, by the way, most of the things that I share with you. Uh, so if you want to get it, please watch the replay. It will be in a special section in for words of knowledge. Um, and so let me explain to you what's going to happen here just next. The Lord asked me that... Um, Again, um, in December, he says, hey, Tim, I want th some things to change. Uh, you've been doing, uh, you know, deliverance and inner healing, pastoral counseling for a long time, for 12 years. And he says, uh, you're, you feel stagnant. You feel stuck. And I did. And he says, I want you to go to the next level in the courts of heaven. I said, okay. So he started bringing more revelation knowledge. And one of the other things he shared with me, he says, when, when these people reach out to you, they're at their wit's end, most of them. Some of them are uh, reaching out because, you know, they're so tormented by demons uh, that uh, they feel hopeless and they just want to end it all. And, he's, and he, he tugged on my heart. He says, I want you to bring encouragement to the body of Christ. And I'm going to use you, Tim, and I'm going to speak to you. And I'm going to have you give encouragement to them because they're not hearing it from their pastors. They're not hearing it from the body of Christ. And they need to hear my voice and they need to hear it over, them li over their lives. And so when Jesus uh, wants to bring this, by the way, uh, he shares that our Heavenly Father only gives us good gifts. So no self-condemnation, no worthlessness, not you're going to die in two weeks, nothing of this nature. It will only be pure, holy, just, praiseworthy, honorable, of a good report, edifying the body of Christ. So I'll share with you whatever the Lord has here as encouragement. I'll be led by the Holy Spirit. I'll take a quick drink here and then I'll go through from top all the way down from what I see. Um, if you could please, if you all could uh, just wait till the end and, uh, and then, so everyone's uh, um, uh, encouragement comes through. Before we get started, I wanted to ask just a couple of questions before we get going about if anyone has questions about the courts of heaven. You have questions about inner healing. You have questions about the self-deliverance. If you have a couple questions, I'll answer. I'll be very brief, and then we'll bring these up. Any questions, you can raise your hand. Um, and you don't have to be shown on screen. Uh, just share with me if you have a question. All right, I don't see it quickly. Oh, we got Stephanie with a hand raised over here. Go ahead, Stephanie, go ahead. It's gonna ask you to unmute. Yeah. So I'm really excited about what you're doing and I would love for my, well, anyway, I have a, a pastor who I'm speaking with, but I would love her to understand what you're doing because it's, it'd be so much more um, uplifting for me to experience, have her experience some of this. Yeah. So how do I introduce her to what you're doing? Or sure. sure. What you can do is she can reach out to me personally and just set up a consult. Most pastors. Really, I, makes, go ahead. it makes an amazing difference. Just speaking things out, it, it, it just doesn't work for me anymore because that's not where God, right. God wants me to fill the bridge, build, build, build that bridge of healing and just speaking about things that are passe, it just, it just muddles the waters. I don't feel that's very effective for me at all. Right. So that have your pastor reach out. I'll be more than happy to uh, have a consult with her. And then uh, she's a pastor. I'll, I'll do her session for free. I have no problem helping the body of Christ uh, just so that they can get this additional freedom. They should be versed, by the way, uh, Stephanie, and just not the courts of heaven. Because if they're going to come to the Lord, they need to do all of it and take Dr. Scott's training, be part of the mentor and coaching as part of that. We just got done doing one uh, most recently with Dr. Scott. It turned out great. We had a great turnout that was there. So if you feel like she's called into this ministry, she's called, then be in the second webinar and go through all of his training first. And then watch the video with us and then ask questions. Uh, I believe Dr. Scott to be opening himself monthly um, unless he's out of uh, the country or something he's not able to do it but he's, he's being called to speak a lot so uh, we'll try to work around his schedule if something comes up but uh, i'll encourage you just to have her reach out to us i'll be more than happy to teach and equip her and uh, walk her through that process okay thank you very much yes thank you again stephanie have a blessed day
that's the whole purpose of the ministry, by the way, is discipleship and learning. Uh, because, you know, if yeah, well, we, we, we have to take those next steps, we really do as Christians, at some point, we just got to go, all right, I got to learn more, I got to be a doer, you know, you just can't go to church on Sunday and think that you're going to be victorious, come on, man, come on, we got the spirit of the living God living inside of us, he's telling us that he's doing stuff in us, he's doing the new thing, he's told us to preach, he's told us to teach, he's told us to mentor, he's told us to go into the world, to pray, how about Bible studies, to learn it, to get it down. And if we're not, we're bad students. We're going to get an F in life. The F in life is mean we're failing because we're not doing it. And the Lord's called you here for a purpose and a reason. So that means that he wants to do the next level, go to the next level with you. And then, and then he's going to share with you as well during this time. Yeah, I'm calling you. Will you answer the call? Will you answer? Will you stand in the gap for your friends and your family member? Will you stand in the gap for your pastor, uh, for for the president? Oh, oh God, we need to stand in the gap for all of them there. Praise God that, that, that we, we got people that do this, that mediate. And so he's going to call you to do more and more and more. Once this is done, he's going to say, hey, here's something else I'm going to call and tug on your heart. Um, some of you, you are going to be, uh, this is your new ministry. And the Lord's calling you to intercede for your city, for your state, for your mayor, for your governors, uh, for, for the police department, for the fire department, uh, for all it's going to tell you. And, and then th this is this that's part of your ministry is just that you're an interceder. You feel called and tug. That's your calling. Learn. Get every book you can. Read about this. Um, and then as well, say, Holy Spirit, leading and guide me. He'll help you. We got Richard here, and I'll do this last question here that Richard has, and I'll ask you to unmute. Go ahead. Sure, uh, Richard, if you have a question here for me. Yes, of course. Hi, Pastor Timothy. So really quick question. I've done some, um, I guess, one of these meetings before for the mercy of, of Court of Heaven. I got the documentation. But as you were walking through um, the Courts of Heaven with a couple of people, um, you're asking, you know, what's the verdict you're, you're hearing and everything else as a whole. I just wanted to make sure that I have the right documentation. So after this, oh, maybe yeah, you bet. Yeah, and all of it's in there. Um, and it's going to be in the very beginning uh, uh, before you get started in the training. There's a list of worksheets that are there. And then on the worksheet that will say create and present your case, it will uh, share with you a worksheet uh, that's there. It's also uh, typed out. And then I just added um, uh, some more examples. There's uh, uh, like an additional um, uh, hour and a half of examples, just people one after another walking them through the courtroom because each one's going to be different, Richard. And some things that I walk through someone with and may not walk with them, this, the next person the exact same way. Um, even though we have our guideline, the Holy Spirit's ultimately our guide. We, we use the guideline to keep us on track. Uh, but in between those, there's other pieces to the puzzle. And that's where the other training modules will come in, in the new masterclass that I'm going to be putting out uh, that will have all of the missing pieces that you're really looking for. But you can still access the courts of heaven with what you currently got and the training uh, but they're just more you're just learning more that's all did that answer sure, your question course. richard yes because when i when i'm having the documentation where it says presenting accusations and it's going through the defendant in the court it, it kind of just goes into uh, saying just you're you're pleading guilty to the, to the heavenly father so i'm, I'm not i, I want to make sure that I have the right um, steps involved. So I, yeah, I'm you right bet. Way. It will say create and present your case. Uh, when you have the doc document open, it will share with you. It will also tell you uh, step by step about that as well um, on, on how to do it. Now, it doesn't go into the greatest, the greatest detail here because most of the additional pieces, it's just a outline as, a, as instruction for the script kind of like inner healing it's just an outline uh, jesus may tug on your heart to do other things in inner healing same thing here um, as an example as soon as you present your list of uh problems before the lord list of uh things you usually just pick one and after you're done picking that then i just ask jesus what accusation stands against me then once the accusation's there, uh, you read between the lines, then once you know that it's there, then you say, all right, Jesus, the next process is inner healing. 
uh, it does share inner healings part of it it sits a couple processes down i just go through it and you'll see as well just to, uh, you, you'll kind of get used to it the holy spirit will lead and guide you and then you'll you'll flow with it as well richard it just takes a bit of time as you do it okay so as you're presenting a, an accusation and, and the court asks how do you plead um, I know your documentation says you plead guilty for it because you're repenting for the sin. Is that is that correct? That is correct. You're going to yes. plead guilty on it. Um, and a lot of people have a hard time pleading guilty. Um, all Jesus says is to agree with our adversary on the way. Uh, and one version, it says to plead guilty um, as in a court case. So all we're doing is agreeing with the adversary, saying that we've done something here, maybe possibly an open doorway. I'm sorry, Jesus, for opening whatever doorway knowingly or unknowingly. Um, I confess it is sin. I repent of this sin and all the ramifications of it in Jesus name. And then as well, you know, the Lord may tug on you. Oh, yeah, I had woundedness with that person that was a, a jerk to me, you know, and now I need to forgive them. You'll see, uh, Richard, he'll just bring up those issues and tell you so they can be resolved. It just takes time. You'll get used to it, though. OK. OK, perfect. Thank you so much. You're I so welcome. It. Hey, thanks for joining the board, Richard. All right, we're going to go ahead and just walk people through the process of uh, just uh, going through um, uh, some uh, words of knowledge. I'm going to take my participants and bring you guys over here so I can see everybody. And then, uh, wait a minute, if you want to be seen on camera, you can. It's up to you. But um, I'm just going to be moving uh, uh, swiftly here on this. And so make sure I have a gallery point of view. Perfect full screen see everybody on the screen praise god and i'm going to be calling on alan first and uh give me a moment alan before i get going and i'm just going to pray get the lord to come he's going to share with me just a little bit of encouragement for you all right lord what do you have for alan today lord jesus will you bring revelation knowledge to your servant let me know what you what, what, what's going on here with alan what you got planned for him lord Alan, I'm seeing like a vision of you, um, uh, and uh, you're like you're walking in heaven, um, and you're in the clouds, um, and uh, and uh, the, uh, the Lord's sharing that uh, you you have like a heavenly perspective, um, that uh, that uh, and the enemy uh, definitely doesn't like this, but this is going to be used for the Lord's glory. So a heavenly perspective. Um, of of the kingdom and uh, as well as uh, he's uh, using this heavenly perspective that you have uh, so that you can see into the uh, to the heavens um, a little bit about angels um, um, i'm seeing the lord as well allowing you to start seeing like angels um, and you you'll you won't see the enemy you'll just see kind of like this dark this like that like this darkness like this dark shadow but you can see the angels uh, fighting in the heavens uh, over, oh, glory to God, over principalities, over regions, over cities. Um, and uh, the Lord's going to use this as well as for interceding for these people. How wild is that? That, that uh, he'll allow you to see the principalities and then that your purpose is to intercede uh, for that city. Wow. To be an interceder for cities. Um, and it's just not that I'm, I'm seeing it as well. He's using this uh, for interceding for your family and your friends. And it's, uh, it's going to be tugging on your heart uh, to seek them even more and learn about how to intercede even deeper. Uh, uh, books, he's going to ask you to read books about discernment um, as well. Uh, as you start reading books about uh, being a seer, because uh, this is the part of the gift the Lord's given to you, that seer gift, um, that you'll get knowledge about this because you'll have to read to know more. Um, uh, how to release this um, and as you read uh, it's like uh, uh, things start popping and opening like he starts doing the new thing because now you're not ignorant to the the the, the being sensitive to the holy spirit now you'll be educated and discern wow how neat is that cool so neat for you, Alan. I'm so glad that the Lord uh, wanted uh, to uh, give you that encouraging word. We got Amber here. We've been cheering some words for Amber on and off as well. Thank you again, Amber, for showing up and volunteering. Uh, Lord, what encouragement do you have for Amber here, just for this woman of God? I'm just seeing that shield 
again he, uh, here for you, uh, Amber, like the Lord's just holding it up. Like there's a light that radiates from the shield um, and the enemy supernaturally, he sees this, the shield of faith. Um, and he says that uh, it's, it's through your faith and trust in him. Wow, this is pretty cool that you're able to push through. I'm saying like, like you holding the shield and, and pushing through the darkness and, and like, uh, you know, all of the, the, the demons and the ghouls, all the nasty things, you know, I've just seen all this darkness and faces and stuff, and you're just pushing through. And uh, by the way, the light is the light of the Lord, and he is, his favor shines on you, Amber. And he says that, uh, by the way, uh, the, the, the other pieces that are there, he says, uh, again, um, that uh, he, he says that he wants you just to keep your focus on, on him rather than the wise um and he says that he'll reveal the wise in his own time in just the right time don't get wary just the right time and what's doing good just the right time i'm seeing that the, the blessings coming through i'm seeing that that shield is also used um, for um for your family like uh, as you are interceding for them that 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 uh, that the uh, the family is just kind of like uh, uh, hiding behind it. It's like your kids, though. But the, the funny thing is, is that I see your I, th I see your husband, and 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 even though the shield's there, and uh, and and the and the Lord's with you, the light's with you, uh, his shield's bigger because he's the head of the house, and uh, that that he's been praying and interceding on your behalf. I'm seeing the Lord using this as a he's a mighty warrior, a prayer warrior behind the scenes, and the Lord uh, using your husband that. that you you guys are even uh, going to even become closer as you communicate and go talk about more about uh, the, the things going on in your lives. Wow, just a, such a great bond between here and I'm seeing the Lord just increasing this bond, you know, like like he's a stamp of approval saying that uh, his favor is with you both. Wow. Thank you, Lord, for that. Uh, for Amber, uh, Amini, I had a little encouraging word for you. Um, uh, let's see if there's anything extra. Uh, that the Lord wants to show anything extra for Armenia. What, what do you got for Armenia, Lord? I'm seeing that you're like dragging your sword. Um, uh, it's the sword of the spirit because uh, it's so heavy. And uh, the and, and the Lord's saying that he's going to get you used to holding the sword. At, oh, wow. It's like you're exercising your faith, Armini, because, uh, you know, when you first get started to to uh, start uh, uh, to, uh, picking up a sword and learning to, to be a uh, uh, to be a swordsman, you know, in the beginning, the weight's a bit much for us because we're not used to it with our muscles. And the Lord's saying that he's he's uh, getting you ready for the battle. He's training up those muscles, spiritual, spiritual muscles, um, and and exercising your faith. Uh, that 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 uh, your faith, again, is going to be there. The sword of the spirit, God's word, and he's he's going to share with you that he's going to be revealing scriptures to you. And you're supposed to be wow, this is wild that you're supposed to be speaking your mouth to people. He'll tell you a scripture as you walk by somebody. And uh, yeah, you'll just uh, kind of just paint the picture in your head, and then uh, you'll just share the scripture, and they'll say, "How did that scripture's for me?" And he'll uh, handpick scriptures for people for you to share, and then God's glory will show up. And then I see the Lord as well using this as the opportunity for evangelism uh, for you. But uh, He's going to have put those scriptures in your heart. And he's going to ask you to start reading your Bible even more, um, uh, three times a day. <laughs> wow, well, praise the Lord um, to get the scriptures. He wants you to memorize them as part of it. And uh, and then the Holy Spirit will bring it back to your remembrance. Like and like Jesus said, you know, hey, when you go get ready to go to court, you know, when you're getting persecuted by the enemy and they're going to bring you up to die and all of these other things. He says, the Holy Spirit is going to be with you. He's going to talk to you. He's going to lead and guide you in the truth. He's going to tell you what to say. That's what he's going to do here for you. Uh, or, I mean, you know, see that he's just going to be at the forefront like the holy spirit is like your guide like you just see him just uh, just guiding you um where to go wow how neat is that um but uh, that encouragement for armini thank you armini again for showing up here today look forward uh, to ever uh, seeing you again in any of the additional trainings all right we got we're gonna move on here i'm trying to get the person's name i believe it is c-h-i-q-u-i-t-a and then Apple. So I'm going to say Apple, Apollos uh, at the end there. Uh, so I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I'm not going to try here today. I apologize if I get it wrong. What do you got this for this for this person, Lord? 
What do you have for them? What are you showing me? Hmm. Hmm. I'm seeing like the barber uh, seal. Um, uh, that 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 uh, that twirling thing for the barbers, uh, the old school stuff. You know, it's so just a little loop going around. Um, and, and then as well, I'm seeing like uh, you uh, trimming hair, um, dark hair. Um, just uh, seeing this trimming going on, like the Lord's, I'm trimming some things out of your life, the unnecessary things, the dead ends. Whoa, the dead ends uh, so that uh, you can grow even more. And he's doing it through the inner healing process um, for you uh, as well. Um, Lord, what else are you using this for? Um, he's getting people and taking them out of your life as well. Like, I'm, I'm not, like he's separating them, like separating the chaff, you know, the, the good from the bad, you know, the, the wheats from, uh, the, from, uh, from uh, the good crop. And I'm seeing that he's separating and getting some of these people in your life that aren't supposed to be there. And as well as he's bringing in godly influences as well. Uh, one of them is going to be a mentor, um, as well, um, I've seen that uh, that this is a, an older gentleman and his wife um, as part of this, and he's going to be uh, bringing them as uh, kind of like mentors and discipleship, uh, just keeping you, your focus on the Lord um, and, and just sharing your heart. Wow, uh, what, what a great thing. It's real hard to find that kind of mentorship and, and, and love um, from somebody. And I, I feel that the Lord's bringing in that the person truly cares. And it's a, uh, this is their ministry is coaching and discipleship for you. Um, and the Lord as well is going to use that, uh, that, uh, uh, what, that heart that they have. And he's going to give you, uh, I'm seeing that he's given you kind of like the same kind of heart to mentor. And it's just not, um, I'm seeing that, that, that this is happening uh, just with women, I um, mean, they're broken men as well, like uh, uh, just, just seeing them, just having one-on-one -on -one with them. How, how neat is this? Like in a counseling atmosphere. I don't know if that uh, did, uh, resonates with you or it brings confirmation, but uh, just like one-on-one -on -one sitting down with people. Thank you, Lord, for this. I'm saying that Jesus says that he wants you to learn more uh, as well um, uh, about uh, 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 for this counsel. Uh, again, because as you've seen here, people have gone through counseling and they still need help. And so the Lord's going to use the inner healing as part of this and uh, it will be mixed together as well. Hallelujah. I believe there's a big revival uh, being uh, sent out and they had a prophetic word. You may want to check out on TikTok um, that uh, about over 500 people, um, uh, uh, pastors, uh, lay people, counselors, doctors, uh, being uh, called into the ministry of uh, deliverance and inner healing as part of it. Hallelujah. I'm seeing the Lord using you and he's saying that, that he's calling you into this kind of ministry as well. Thank you, Lord, for that encouragement for that person. We got Christina here. Christina D. Uh, Christine D. Uh, what encouragement do you have for this woman? Like, I saw some of the questions that you came through. Unfortunately, uh, Christina, uh, this wasn't the platform for us just to answer those, some of those questions that you had. If you're looking for additional help, you feel hopeless, please reach out to us for a personal session for inner healing um, and pastoral counseling, maybe even even going before the just judge of the universe and accessing the mercy court of heaven, or as well do some inner healing yourself through our online training. Um, but I'm seeing the Lord wanting to, to do more here for you. I'm seeing that that confusion that you've been having, that it's been demonic by nature, and that the, the Lord's going to bring revelation knowledge to you where the root cause is, and he'll reveal it to you as you are a doer of inner healing. How, how wild is that? He's going to ask you to be a doer. And as you do the work, he says he'll reveal to you, he'll restore and set you feel free. And I'm hearing that he's saying that he's bringing acceleration and, and healing the confusion and, and, and just not knowing why and the woundedness that's there. He says, this is his time to bring restoration to you. And uh, as well, he's gonna share with you because since you're all here, um, uh, the responsibility is off of me and it's on you. 
you have to do this work. You have to do inner healing. You have to do come to Jesus as just judge and come to Jesus as friend. Come to Jesus as father. You have to bring up your own brokenhearted issues. You have to be specific. And as you do this, then he says, I will. I will. She's showing you stuff. Um, uh, to come. He's going to be teaching you, equipping you, getting you ready. But if you don't do the work, don't expect for the miracles and the signs and the wonders, and as well as your ministry to explode. You can't sit at home twiddling your thumbs, waiting for the next webinar to come along and hope that this is going to be your big break and or hope that Jesus is going to land people in your lap. He's going to have you go out to be where they're at. You're not waiting till they call you either. You're not waiting till they do the Zoom call with you. You are going out. He's going to tell you to go to the street. Some of you, he's going to share with you, go to the uh, 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 downtown, get prayed up, anoint yourself, do this, and then go out and do it. And he's going to share with you, do inner healing, evangelize. Walk them through the courts. Come to Jesus as judge and friend. It's going to tell you to lay hands on the sick. This is going to be part of your ministry. And if you don't do any of these things, please don't cry to me. Please don't cry. Just an encouragement for uh, don't because I have people cry. <laughs> Pastor, five times we met. You said you don't have time to do the work. You can't. You, you can't do it. Well, I had a client on Friday. He wasn't ready. Um and. Uh, and uh, I shared with them, I'm, we're, not, we're not rescheduling our appointment. And then I shared with them as well, and have, you, have you done any of the work? It's been two weeks now. This is our last session. Have you done any of the work? Oh, I've just been so busy. Everything's tormenting me. I don't want to hear it, man. If it's a priority, you'll make it a priority and you'll do it. And if it's not, you know where your priorities are. Your priorities aren't to do it. That's okay. Just don't get mad at Jesus and just don't get mad at me because you don't want to take the next step and take accountability for your actions. And this is where I think the Lord's just sharing here is that all of you, that's what he's going to share with you. No condemnation here, guys, please don't, don't take it the wrong way because a very small percentage of the time do people actually do the work and they'll just keep crying and looking for help, looking for the magic pill. But the Lord's going to say, uh, there is no magic pill. It is just doing the work that you'll see the freedom. We got more people here we're going to bring freedom to for some encouragement. Uh, thank you, Lord, for that encouragement for Christine D. We got, we look at it. I believe it is Jane. Uh, it started with a J, so it could be a Jean, but it could be Jane as well. Uh, Jane or Jean. Uh, let's see what the Lord has for you. This encouragement for her. Like I'm just seeing steam, like on your feet. Um, and your feet, uh, here you are, like, ouch! like a vision of you skiing like uh, on the water. And uh, you're like, that guy that just hurts, it's so fun to do. Um, and and I'm, well, what, what, do you, what, what do you want to bring about through this, Laura? It's kind of like a ministry work. It's so fun to do. Um, but sometimes uh, the, the hurt and pain, the woundedness of the others that treat us poorly. I'm seeing like, uh, like uh, someone's been humiliating you, um, be, uh, cursing you behind the scenes, like, uh, like a mocking putting down um, but you you enjoy uh, the 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 sharing you enjoy the, the 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 pieces that god's bringing to you but there's uh, an aspect to it that uh, brings some discomfort and I'm, I'm hearing the lord sharing that that uh, he's going to bring um he says again i'll make my yoke easy on you uh, he says the problem is is that you're just not focused enough on me wow you're just not focused enough on him and that uh, that he's wanting to do more uh, but he's limiting himself with you because uh, you're not spending the additional time with them um i'm just seeing like a, a vision of you turning off the tv like the old school tv like turning the switch off um and, I, and i'm seeing like the old school radio with the antenna and you're turning the radio off and then i'm just seeing like uh, on the tv now just jesus on the screen like you're just watching and as you start focusing your attention, the Lord says that, that this is where he wants to keep you. 
uh, because your heart and mind's finally stayed fast on him, that uh, the, 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 he'll make the yoke even easier. And as well, I'm seeing that uh, the, 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 it's kind of like a healing ministry that he's bringing to you. A lot of you, uh, when you do the healing and deliverance ministries, if you, this is your ministry and you're called. Um, uh, by the way, uh, most of us are tormented by the enemy um, quite often. And spiritual warfare is real. And that means that we have to be doers. I have to be a doer. I break curses off of me daily. I do inner healing daily. I take hold of vain imaginations daily. I bring them before the Lord. I train them to obey God's word. And he's going to do the same thing with you as you are a doer. I'm just saying, as you're doing, it's kind of like, I'm seeing like the seeds being sown and the big giant harvest coming through. Wow, Lord. And the Lord's picking the the, the cream of the crop um, and he's, he's going to use it for for his glory for you like a healing ministry of laying on of hands as well thank you lord for that encouragement for gene or jane and then we got jennifer here jennifer good to see you again thank you again and then being with our ministry all these years and supporting us we appreciate your support and your prayers lord what do you have here for jennifer some encouragement for this woman of god what encouragement do you have for her Missing like that, you're in that boat again. The storms are around. And as you turn around, you just see Jesus. And he's got like a sunflower in his hand. And uh, whenever you look at him, you can just see the clouds dissipate. You know, it's like always above his head. It's just clouds just gone. There's no storm there. Just a light shining through. Um, and then he's just holding this this uh, this big giant sunflower. And uh, I'm seeing you, you're trying to, again, I, I saw this earlier with somebody else that you're trying to pick the seeds off the sunflower because it's, it's ready to go. Um, and I'm seeing you actually eating it. It's like, uh, like you're eating the scroll. Wow, this is wild. Uh, as you, as uh, I'm seeing you eat it, uh, the, the Lord is saying that I want you to, uh, to, to eat my word, the meat of it. And he's going to be bringing more meat topics to you big meat topics and uh, you're gonna go that's a lot to swallow god that's a lot of that's a lot of heavy meat here i'm trying to cut it up and he's just telling you just just bite it and as he's as you're biting i'm seeing the lord he's bringing acceleration to learning uh during this time as well um and uh, as you're eating it that that's actually eating god's word and it's growing and, and you as you water it and spend time with them. How encouraging is that for Jennifer? Uh, KJ, uh, thank you so much for joining aboard for KJ. Uh, what a blessing for you to join here in this master class on the courts of heaven. And uh, I'm sorry we didn't bring up any issues here for you personally, but uh, Lord, what do uh, you have for this for this person of God? I'm not sure if it's a man or woman. Uh, Lord, you know, though. What's going on with KJ? Let's see if KJ's even showing. No, it's not showing. Feeling like a tug of war with you, KJ. Um, on one end, um, I see you pulling and you're trying your hardest. And on the other end, you see a bunch of demons. You know, they're, they're like they're just hanging on there. Like and, and it's like a big tug of war. It's spiritual by nature. It's like supernatural, like a tug uh, that uh, of blockage. Um, and you've been trying to tug uh, and reach to the Lord, but you're just you just don't know how. You've been trying, you know, you've been trying many different things. Like this isn't your first time around looking for stuff um, and the Lord wanting to use you um, and, uh, and him showing you things. Um, and th this time here, I'm hearing the Lord saying that he's got seeds and he's settling them in your heart. Um, and that, uh, that, uh, that, uh, that to not tug um, so hard uh, uh, that the, the Lord, he's going to be your strength. He says, hey, I want you to take a, a step back. And not in your strength, kind of like you're leaning on the Lord, um, kind of like that chair. You know, if you're sitting down, you're not thinking the chair is going to hold you. The chair just holds you. And so I think I, the Lord's just showing a heavenly perspective of uh, where you're at in your situation and telling you that he provided here, he provided there, he's providing here too for you. And uh, he, he says uh, he wants you to proclaim in the season about the goodness of the Lord and then watch it come to pass in the next season. And then as you believe them, kind of like the chair you're sitting on or the computer that's working, you're not second guessing that the computer's not working. It's working. The phone's working. 
uh, and you're not thinking about it. He says, that's how you're going to work in your exercise and your faith. You're not going to think about it. You're just going to do, wow, how glory to God. He says, the centurion kind of faith for you, KJ. Wow, how encouraging. We got Kathleen here. Kathleen, thank you so much uh, for showing up and volunteering today. Give me a moment to take another drink here. I'm seeing a crown over you, Kathleen. I'm seeing Jesus put the crown on you. And then it glows, by the way. It's an anointing crown I'm seeing here. I'm seeing as well the oil is being dripped off of the, of the crown. It's just falling all over your head. You're being covered with oil. I'm seeing the Lord taking a, his oil and pouring his cup over you. He's saying double, triple, triple, uh, a triple portion anointing. Uh, for for uh, your ministry, and that he's releasing a mantle that he's been holding on um, uh, for you uh, for the right season, and he's and he's starting to put the mantle on you um, as well. I'm seeing it; it's, it's, it's heavy. It's really heavy, but when you put it on, it's it's not heavy for you. Um, when, when you when, when you take it off, it's heavy. But the Lord gives you the strength as you wear it because it's His armor uh, that He's putting on you. And I'm I'm seeing as well um, that that uh, that the armor already uh, that that's there. That uh, immediately as soon as you put it on, I'm seeing that the enemy's trying all that he can to bring in warfare. Wow, because uh, the enemy knows. He's, he's read your book. He, he knows uh, your book in heaven. Uh, he has his own false book about you, by the way. All of you, uh, there's a, a book over our own personal life in heaven. And uh, it talks about our plan, destiny, and purpose. Um, and what's being released, all the healing, restoration, or what you've said, every word's accounted for. And there's a false book that's there. And this one that's false is if the enemy takes control and he wins and he and uh, and, and he succeeds and we choose not to turn to the Lord. Um, so the, a second outcome and uh, he knows the the correct outcome. And so I just see warfare coming against you. But the Lord says that he's with you and he's already got this armor on you. And again, once again, I'm just seeing the Lord saying that to, to, to have the peace of God, he's saying to keep your heart, mind steadfast on Christ. And uh, I'm just seeing as well, again, that uh, part of your warfare tools is worship that he's going to be bringing um, uh, to you in this time as well. Uh, to, uh, when you feel down, worship. When when uh, you feel the, the heavy oppression, worship. And then bringing them in before Jesus' as friend and judge, he'll direct you where to go. Um, he'll tell you exactly, uh, piece by piece uh, for yourself personally, um, over your own life. And direct you how to do the warfare so that you're successful. Again, not in your strength, uh, him giving you the instruction. Anything extra for this woman uh, of God, Lord? A major evangelism. Major evangelism. I'm seeing that with women. Just like a, a group meet, meet, meetings with women. Starting out, uh, Zoom meetings um, uh, once a week uh, for Bible studies. Um, I'm just seeing the Lord just opening up doorways for you, running it. I'm seeing church stuff happening. The uh, Lord using you in the church, laying on the hands there. Um, I'm seeing that it starts there. And then he says, I want you out of the church doing the healing too. It's just not meant for the church. It's just not meant for there. Jesus didn't mean for us to be there all the time. And he, as you, as you go through here, there were usually small churches, by the way, all of them in the New Testament. Um, they're, they're all pretty tiny. Um, they got a little bit bigger. I, there's nothing wrong with the mega churches. Hey, as long as they're doing the work, they'll be held accountable for all the money that comes in. You know, I don't understand. I really don't. You know, the Lord uh, it just really tugs on my heart. I just see all the money come into the big churches, and I just don't see why so many people aren't fed and, and the homeless taken care of. It I, uh, it brings confusion, and, and the Lord just says, Tim, just uh, just don't worry about it. I I, I got it all in control. Um, the, the enemy's using it. The, fi the finances, but that's okay. I'm not pointing out no one's ministry. Uh, and again, uh, uh, no condemnation here, but the Lord's going to be uh, using you 
and asking you to not only do it in the church, but outside of the church. Amen. Thank you, encouragement for uh, uh, Kathleen as well. Thank you, Jesus, for this encouragement. Thanks, Kathleen. Uh, if you don't mind, Kathleen, at the end, we'll say goodbye to everybody. You could all say thank you at the very end. We're almost done. We got Kelly here just next. What do you have for Kelly? Lord, I'm seeing her in front of a TV, like a vision in front of a TV. Not so much a TV, but the cameras on you. I'm seeing like you're in the spotlight and the cameras are like pointed at you like a news station here, Kathleen. And uh, like uh, like the Lord's going to use um, social media uh, for you, uh, Kelly, um, uh, like TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, um, Pinterest is going to use you here. And that's where uh, I'm, I'm hearing the Lord saying that this is where the big following is going to come through for your ministry. It's a different ministry um, as you share. Uh, there are little short pieces, little small things. It's going to give you instruction as well, what to talk about, what, what to do. And he'll promote you in his time as you are a doer. Wow, this is some encouragement here. I'm seeing that a lot of, uh, a lot of people are who are lost. Uh, part of the, your, your ministry is to open up your Bible and read it um, on camera. That's part of it. You'll just you'll zoom in and you'll get super close in and you'll start reading it. And that's part of the ministry. You'll just read it word for word as as you go through. And I'm seeing that thousands of people uh, watching the videos and uh, then as well having small Bible studies online. Um, and I'm, I'm seeing that this isn't the only just for that one person that's for, for many here. Um, I'm seeing that Kathleen, the Lord's opening the doorway for you in that area as well. I'm seeing it in Jane. I'm uh, I see it over Christine um, as well. Um, I'm seeing it, uh, Dr. Jones, um, uh, Leland Jones, um, and as well, I'm seeing it for Tammy as well. And if uh, I didn't call your name, it's just the Lord didn't have you called just this time. He, he may have you doing it. And he's already told you, you didn't need my confirmation. Um, and you're already doing it. Um, but uh, the Lord will share with you and give you that confirmation as well. He'll bring it to you and start tugging on your heart. Um, I would love to see you. Please be my friend on TikTok and watch my videos and, and tell me, hey, I saw you on uh, this thing here and I, 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 I follow you and I'm doing, I'm doing the God's work. And I want to see you there. I want to see you. I want to see you doing God's work there. I'll watch your videos. I'll comment. I share uh, anyone that's my friend that's on there. I'll, I'll share and say hi. And thank you. I appreciate it. All right. And I, thank you, Lord, for that encouraging word for Kelly. We're going to Dr. Jones. I'm seeing big outbreak for you, sir. Wow. Um, I'm seeing uh, like a vision of you, Dr. Jones, that uh, you're in front of the camera. And you're doing zooms, and there's it's just not a couple, it's it's it's, it's like thousands that are there, Dr. Jones. Um, and uh, that uh, it's actually uh, your teaching on inner healing itself, um, during this time, and um, and it's uh, <laughs> it's actually for school. Wow, thank you, Lord, for a Christian school. Um, and uh, they they found you. Um, through the Holy Spirit, they're being led to you. Um, it's just not that, that but uh, I'm seeing as well that uh, you're being called in to travel. Um, and he's going to start having you traveling um, to locations to speak. And they're going to bless you financially uh, as part of it, Dr. Jones. Um, they'll, they'll tell you. Uh, this is what we were thinking. And even though you got your amount in your head, it's going to be double, uh, sometimes even triple the amount because they want to bless you because uh, of your anointing. Um, and they'll hear from the Lord. Uh, the Lord told me to give you this amount. Wow, how neat. That's how he's providing for you um, extra behind the scenes. And again, he says that, that uh, he says, he says that, that not worry about the finances. He says, and just the right timing. I'm seeing as well, like uh, someone coming in, a financial partner, um, a businessman um, who's on fire for God, who's already got healing and restoration. He found you and read your book. I mean, uh, I've seen that the Lord's bringing this businessman. Um, uh, I'll share with you what I've seen. He's wearing a striped tie that has blue in it. Um, it's blue. Uh, it has uh, some green in it as well, and some white. It's kind of interesting. Um, he's wearing like a dark blue um, um, blazer uh, as well. Uh, his hair is slicked back. Uh, he's uh, uh, like in his early uh, 40s, um, clean cut. 
um, white hair. Um, he's, uh, God turned his hair white uh, uh, when he was younger. How, wow, how neat for you, Dr. Jones. That was very specific by nature. Uh, how encouraging is that for you? Anything extra for Dr. Jones? Um, I just think like, uh, again, the Lord, uh, it's just his hand on you, Dr. Jones, that the, his anointing's with you, um, his favor. He's opening up things with favor. Um, amen. Amen. Thank you for that encouragement. All right. We're here at Richard. Richard, again, thank you so much for joining. I know we've been, uh, we've done some sessions in the past. I thank you again with the training. Uh, if you get stuck, uh, again, uh, Richard, if you uh, ever feel led or anyone here, you can do a one-on-one -on -one coaching with me. Um, uh, uh, I'll send out an email blast for everyone who showed up. Uh, the Holy Spirit will tug on your heart about it uh, as well, and uh, you'll see the, the pricing that's there. He'll share with you if that's something that you're supposed to do. Uh, but I uh, just wanted to share that with you. Uh, for, so next is for Richard here. Um, I'm just seeing like a, uh, a, a gopher hole. Um, uh, and uh, seeing that hole that's there, uh, seeing like the little gopher come out. Um, and, uh, it's, it's, it's not so much a gopher, it's like a prairie. A prairie dog is tinier. Um, and I've seen this dog trying to chase it uh, around as well. Um, and uh, it's kind of like the enemy. You've, you've been coming out um, and uh, the, the Lord's uh, been uh, healing and bringing some revelation knowledge. And like the enemy's trying to chase you down. I'm trying to, to, to keep you distracted from the focus of the Lord. Um, and uh, sometimes, uh, even as well, sometimes even bring in the doubt, you know, like, come on, man, <laughs> again, like, come on, you know, I like just, just some frustration here and the Lord's just bringing in some peace and just bringing in some comfort during this time, letting you know that he's here again. I'm hearing that scripture come up. Do not get tired of doing what is good in just the right time. I'm seeing the Lord opening this up. Uh, Lord, what else you got for Richard here? I'm seeing some evangelism with you as well, Richard. Um, like just, uh, again, these are one-on-one -on -one encounters uh, with people. Like, like I just see you uh, w walking um, and uh, it's not the mall. It's like the, the grocery store, uh, just going into, inside the grocery store. And then all of a sudden uh, you'll, you'll see like this dark cloud over somebody and then the, the Lord starts tugging on you. And it, again, I'm seeing more scriptures being revealed to you. Like, uh, like he's having you quote scripture, um, uh, Old Testament things, just weird. Like he's like hand picking like something in Psalms for somebody. Um, and the, the, the word in Psalms is actually, they're, they're all prophetic, by the way. Um, uh, through Psalms, uh, they're even though they're songs of uh, David, uh, he's speaking prophecy <laughs> hey, all over our lives. Um, and uh, I, I'm seeing the Lord using uh, Psalms to uh, to to share scripture and he'll just uh, share pieces of it. Um, I, I'm seeing as well that he's going to bring bringing Proverbs. He says, I want you to have them memorized, kind of like a, a memorization, uh, kind of as the student. Uh, OK, you want me to memorize this? God, all right. But he says he's going to retain it in you. It's going to keep the remembrance. Um, so you'll be able to quote it any time, but he'll tug on you when to quote it. Um, and and when, you, when you quote it, it'll actually be over the person's life and it's for them directly. Um, and uh, I, I see that this is part of your ministry is speaking prophetic words through God's word. Um, and, and then he'll, he'll mix it up and share with you a, a piece of truth about their past. Uh, like very specific by nature like you're like really god really you want me to share this this is too like this is too pinpointy you know like no one knows this and like like you're reading mail but it's on purpose for glory uh, for 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 the father through the son um and kind of like I'm, I'm seeing again like like uh, the the one of the disciples sitting in front of a big tree and Jesus prophesying that he was sitting there and he is like, how do you know this stuff? Um, but uh, again, Jesus sharing with you what to be spoken of um, and this ministry again, um, I, I'm hearing the Lord just kind of saying just as encouragement for you as well, um, uh, in regards to reading and getting all that you can down uh, books on discernment books on uh, seeing uh, being a seer books on being a feeler and prophecy and being a prophet 
but uh, he, again, I'm, I'm, I'm saying that this is part of your calling. And as you get it down, that, that the Lord will use this um, and be able to exercise your faith even more. Uh, e even though you haven't gotten these books down, I'm seeing the Lord starting to use you now. It's not like waiting. It's like acceleration now. And as you read it, uh, more revelation will be revealed and more encouragement as well. But uh, immediately, just uh, as you're reading just through those uh, through uh, the scriptures, um, he may tell you to memorize them or as well that just to read it. And then he'll put the, well, he's putting the memorization in your heart. Wow. As well. And bring it back to remembrance when the season comes. How encouraging is that for you? Uh, Richard, how neat is that? Uh, praise the Lord for this encouraging word for Richard. We got Stephanie here. Thank you, Stephanie, for showing up and being patient to the very end. We got one more here for Tammy, and then we're all done. And then uh, we'll close in prayer and close out the courtroom. Uh, what do we have here for Stephanie, Lord? What do you have for this woman of God? I'm hearing from the Lord, like I I'm seeing him saying that he, she's already an in interceder for me. Um, and that uh, now he's going to uh, um, start tugging on your heart even more to intercede. Um, again, to like pinpointing people, um, churches, um, family. Um, and, and, and so as, as that's part of the ministry that he's called you into. I, I'm just uh, seeing like a vision of you on your knees. Um, you're in your prayer closet. I'm just seeing you just kind of this bowing down and, and you're just kind of just meditating on the Lord. And then he starts tugging on you about people. He just says names to you. And you're like, oh, I'm just seeing that as he brings the names up, um, that you'll start praying for him immediately and, and uh, intercede on their behalf. What else, Lord, that uh, through this, that he's bringing miracles and uh, you won't say anything to anybody uh, about this, but you'll see a miracle happen in the person's life. I, I see it even happening in your pastor's life um, that uh, you'll be interceding. The Lord will come through with the miracle that you've already prayed for like two weeks ago. And then two weeks later, the miracle comes through. The answer comes in. The pastor shares the testimony. And then you thank the Lord uh, behind the scenes privately what wow, this is pretty wild stuff privately and say lord you answered their prayer that you've tugged on my heart about thank you jesus for answering their prayer um as part of this um and then it's going to be unspoken they don't know um and that's that's part of the ministry um but there will be an aspect where he will use you in a public form but this isn't that's not it uh, this piece is just for intercession. And then in the public form, I'm seeing you as a public speaker. Um, and uh, um, the, the, whatever fears that's been there, I'm seeing the Lord uh, uh, just blotting out the fear and uh, as well, making you feel comfortable. It'll start out small and then it'll get bigger and bigger and bigger. And, and then again, I'm just seeing you here, Stephanie, like that you're in some park. And uh, that you've 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 uh, already uh, met with some of the people at church, and they're like, like some of these people are coming, but there's more because they shared, um, and and it's kind of like a small event, but the Lord's going to use you to speak in this event, and it's just not this one, but He's going to have you just start being a guest speaker in small churches as part of this, um, uh, uh, and sharing your testimony. That's that's the purpose of it. And uh, through sharing the goodness of the Lord and your testimony, I'm seeing that, uh, that uh, people are getting saved because of it. And then as you share, the healing just comes through. You just talk and the healing comes forth. Kind of like when Peter walked, you know, just because the Lord was with them so much that his, his shadow uh, uh, casted with, with, upon people and they were healed. I'm seeing the Lord using just the word from your mouth since his word is life. And it's already been spoken, uh, like the centurion man, that that when the word's spoken from your mouth, that instant healing and restoration uh, for these people. And they'll tug on you and say, hey, did you know that the Lord used you um, and shared that I got healed because of your testimony? And uh, and each time he does it, uh, you'll be surprised um, and uh, you'll be in awe. 
uh, because how good the Lord is. All right. Praise the Lord. Great for you, Stephanie. We got Tammy finally here. All right, Tammy. What do we got going on for Tammy? Lord, what do you got special for this woman of God? The last one here. Lord, I guess you're saving the best for last. What do you got for her? Hmm. I'm seeing like a water tower uh, for you, Tammy. Um, <laughs> I'm seeing like that that one that was on TV where uh, someone took a gun. I think they did a shot a, a hole into the water tower. And they were losing thousands and thousands of gallons of water. Um, but I, I see that water tower. I see the water coming out. And uh, you've been worried about uh, some things spilling over. Um, in your life. I'm worried about secret sin uh, that you kept secret to yourself, uh, just some self-condemnation and, uh, and that the, the, the Lord's uh, uh, just bringing peace over these areas. Again, uh, I've seen that him uh, like a vision of him just working with you through some of these issues. We all have issues, by the way. No one's perfect. I'm, I, I still got issues. Uh, the Lord's still working with me. I'm, I'm, I'm Unperfect. It's all right. Uh, but uh, I see him working on the issues uh, for you. And I'm seeing that he's plugging up that big giant hole that's there. And uh, and no one could, again, it's kind of like that missing area in your life where you feel like uh, uh, something's missing. Jesus is the only answer that's, that, that, can, that can fill us. Nothing can. Uh, no, 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 no other worldly thing. Much money, sex, you know, food, <laughs> nothing, nothing can do it. Only Jesus can. And I'm, I'm seeing that Jesus is going to, uh, I'm hearing from the Lord. He says, I am renewing to her and bringing uh, joy uh, uh, back to her salvation. Like he's uh, bringing joy back to your salvation. Like he's, he's, he's bringing, uh, revitalizing you, um, uh, just stirring you up. I'm just seeing kind of like, like, like that so, so stirring up deep the wells, stirring up deep deep wells deep down inside of you and i'm seeing he's stirring you up stirring you up stirring what else you got seeing him stirring them so it's, uh, there's a big anointing on your life wow like the lord's going to use you like mightily uh, i'm seeing nationally internationally that the lord's using you uh tammy and uh, that, that, that the that, that the lord's got some big big plans for you um, and again, that, that all of these little small things that have been bugging you, uh, they're just distraction issues, spiritual warfare issues uh, that the Lord's doing. Uh, now it's just saying, hey, uh, I, I, your focus hasn't been on the 100% and that, uh, that he's, he's, he's asking you to, to spend more time with them. Uh, I'm seeing like, like a, a, as well, like a schedule. Um, and you writing down on the schedule when you wake up and your schedule go off on your phone. I'm just seeing it go off, beep, you know, and uh, as it goes off, um, you know, it's time to pray. <laughs> I've seen another one, boom, another one, it's time to meditate on his word. And uh, uh, another time I'm seeing it as well that uh, the, uh, you're doing your Bible study, uh, worship, um, and throughout the day, uh, there's uh, there was reminders, and the Lord's going to start tugging on your heart about the, the reminders, so your focus will always be on them. And as you start doing it, in the beginning, you know, like I just feel like this is too much, but uh, you're, you're going to feel like this tug from the Lord that you can you can get through it. But I'm seeing because of the sacrifice uh, through the obedience that uh, that uh, that uh, that uh, He's going to bring that acceleration through. And then th this is what brings in the intimacy that you've been looking for. Whoa, intimacy. This is the deepest thing he's looking for in you. It's this additional time. That's why he wants it with you. And, and I don't see it like it being like a prayer thing, you know, because we all pray. And then at some time, you know, there's not much more to really to pray about. I mean, we can keep going. But at some point, the Lord says, I just want you to commune with me. And I seen the Lord like, uh, like the Holy Spirit, like just sitting down. Uh, and you two just sitting and just communing back and forth. And the, the Holy Spirit, that's how he's going to use you uh, in this ministry that he has for you. I'm saying that it's so, so big and, and so uh, prophetic uh, that um, uh, you'll, you'll be everywhere. You'll be this blasted everywhere. But the Lord's going to prepare you for it. He's, he's going to let you know when the season's right. And then as well, 
I'm seeing that the Lord's bringing in again another um, a partner, a business partner. Um, who's on fire to uh, bless the ministry behind the scenes um, as part of this and uh, help you in this process so you're not alone in it. So the Lord says, just be patient and start doing what I'm asking you to do now in the right timing. I'm hearing it again, in just the right time, he'll bring it up and he'll bless you and promote you in that season. Thank you, Jesus, for all of this encouragement for the body of Christ today, Lord, thank you again as we celebrate the Sabbath. Uh, all of you here, Lord, thank you, Lord, for a happy Shabbat Shalom for everyone and uh, just honoring the Lord. Lord, we will rest in you. We will spend that time with you, Lord, that's meant for us. Uh, and Lord, as well, that we will focus our attention on you. Jesus, we thank you for all that you've done through through, through coming here today, Lord, and, and healing your brokenhearted people, giving instruction and keeping them focused on you. And Lord, now they're going to run and do the work. They're not going to be uh, bad students. They're going to get passing grades, Lord. They're going to be on the honor roll. They're going to uh, be the ones that are going to be the Val Victorians, Lord. You're going to use them and they're going to be good students we thank you jesus for all that you've done here thank you lord that we have bound all of the wounds that the enemies come against them thank you jesus for binding those wounds setting them free lord jesus as well we thank you that the kingdom of god's come upon them all Lord, thank you for filling them with your Holy Spirit. We're all those dark areas. We're bringing healing and truth to all of the lies. We thank you, Lord, for all that you've done. And we thank you for a great day. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, thank you, everyone, for joining in for this free oh, uh, webinar masterclass on uh, the courts of heaven. The webinar is going to be available no later than uh, 5 o'clock on Wednesday. Uh, again, uh, for the replay, we are charging for that. It's $35 for it. Um, you'll be able to do that. Um, if you can't afford to go into the next uh, Courts of Heaven uh, master, and that's not, it's, uh, it's just a one-on-one -on -one for coaching and mentorship, if you can't, uh, let us know. We'll enroll you for free. We don't want the money to be the issue there. Um, and uh, you'll be able, you won't get the replay, but you'll be able to uh, at least show up and ask some questions. And you'll you'll get an email blast in just a little while. Uh, probably, uh, um, I believe it's going out Monday about the new one. We try not to do too many uh, here. So you'll get an email blast. It'll share with you, you know, the price, you know, if you would like to enroll, you know, if you can't afford, you know, um, uh, you click here if you want to uh, donate to our ministry and partner or it'll give you a link there to do that as well um, so that you can get into it and again we don't want the money to be the reason why but it's really intended for those um, and so just kind of give you an idea and uh, we want to bless the body of Christ but if you can't afford it we just want you to be blessed okay at some point the Lord will share with you that uh, he wants you to to bless the body of Christ and uh, he's going to tug on your heart uh, to do this as well. Uh, if you feel like you want to partner with our ministry, uh, you can do it at any level and, and continue to do it monthly. We have, some of them uh, really help us out um, with big, giant donations that makes us available to work with these pastors, to do uh, some of these free sessions as well that we do for others to get freedom. So please reach out to us if uh, you need additional help and restoration here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just say goodbye here. Thanks, everyone, for showing up. Uh, you'll get some email blasts if you want to unmute yourself. I'll ask all of you to unmute all, if that's all right. Ask to unmute. And you guys can say goodbye. Bye, guys. Thanks again. I took an extra Bye, 44 Bye. minutes. Bless you. Bye. Bless you. Thanks, Bye. guys. Thank you. Thank you. So welcome. Thank you. you guys, welcome. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. Happy Shabbat Shalom Bye -bye. to you all. Thanks again, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Wonderful. Thank you, Pastor. You're so welcome. See you guys later. Bye-bye.